Hello people of the internet, Spaz here. Welcome to another 1.4.4 boss guide on the Zenith Seed, and today we're taking on Queen Bee. So, let's get started. For your arena, I recommend making it 160 blocks tall about, and about 100 blocks long. It should be more tall than long just in case, because you're gonna need more vertical height to avoid the dashes. Then there's just gonna be three platforms on it with campfires, heart lanterns, and a honey pit somewhere. Okay guys, so for melee, you're going to want to use your Sun Fairy and Escape Yo-Yo, reforged to the best modifiers you can get on each, regular healing potions, a burger, or any other food buff, iron skin, regen, swiftness, endurance, and inferno potions. For armor, you're going to want to use Molten Armor, Feral Claws, Obsidian Shield, Band of Region, Shield of Cthulhu, Blue Horseshoe Balloon, and Lightning Boots, Reforged to Warding and Menacing. Alright guys, we're going to start the fight. So, turning off God Mode, turning on the Spawn Rate, we are on Master Mode, take our buff, and let's go! So the first change you can notice is that the, the sound for Queen Bee is different. A little bit disconcerting, but the fight doesn't seem to be too different or anything. You just, for the fight, you just gotta dodge the stingers. Definitely. Because they do a lot of damage, and they do poison damage, which is something you don't want. So just dash back and forth. To avoid stingers and when you see the little bees you can kill them because they can quickly overwhelm you but that's what the inferno potion is for the inferno potion will really kill them for you and then when you see the charges just jump up dash to the side and then fall in a kind of circular motion like you kind of just saw there For Ranger, I recommend using the Molten Fury and the Phoenix Blaster, regular healing potions, Jester Arrows for the bow, and Meteor Shot for the gun, a burger or any other food buff, Iron Skin, Regen, Swiftness, Endurance, Archery, and Inferno Potions. For armor, I recommend using Necro Armor, the Shark Tooth Necklace in place of Feral Claws, I just forgot to take off Feral Claws, the Obsidian Shield, Band of Regen, Shield of Cthulhu, Blue Horseshoe Balloon, and Lightning Boots. Reforged to warding and or menacing. Okay guys, we're gonna start the fight. So turn off god mode. Turn on the spawn rate. We are on master mode. Take your buffs. And let's go. There's Queen Bee. And to dodge her attacks, you're simply just gonna really wanna kinda dash back and forth. That's the easiest way to avoid the stingers, and then the Inferno Potion will deal good damage to her if you ever get close to her, because it will burn her. And it will deal very nicely with all these little bees that she spawns. Jump up, dash, dash in the opposite direction, and just kind of go in that circular motion, and that will easily help you avoid the charges. Like I said, her attacks will get faster, but the methods for dodging these attacks will not. Your primary weapon in this fight should definitely be the Phoenix Blaster, because as you can see with the Meteor Shot, it's absolutely eating her ass, so that's what you want. <laughs> For 
Iron Mage, I recommend using the Demon Scythe, regular healing potions, mana potions, not lesser mana potions, a burger or any other food buff, Iron Skin, Regen, Swiftness, Endurance, Magic Power, Mana Regeneration, and Inferno Potions. Then for armor, I recommend using Jungle Armor, Mana Flower, Obsidian Shield, Band of Regen, Shield of Cthulhu, Blue Horseshoe Balloon, and Lightning Boots, Reforged to either Warding and or Menacing. Okay guys, so we're gonna start the Mage fight now. Turn off God Mode. Turn on your spawn rate. We are on Master Mode. Take your buffs and let's go. So, Queen B, she doesn't have too many attacks. She will shoot stingers at you, and these little evil bees. And the best way to avoid the stingers is just to dash back and forth. That's literally it. When you see when those little stinger things incoming, just try to dash across the platform. You may have to jump a few times to get over them, but it's not really too hard. Since 1.4.4. This 1.4, I think when they change the sprite for her stingers, you can actually see them. And she would charge you like this, so you just jump over here, dash in the opposite direction, dash under her in kind of a circular motion like you just saw, and that will keep you safe from her charges. You can also parry the charges if you choose to, that will keep you safe from her charge, and also do damage to her, which is great, but you gotta get the timing right. So if you don't have confidence with that, then just don't try it. Um, the Inferno Potion should deal with the bees she spawns pretty nicely. And it'll also burn her once she gets close enough to you, so... Just pluses all around for that. Finally, for Summoner, I recommend using the Snapthorn and the Spinal Tap, or you can use either one, but I recommend having both of them if, in case you want to do whip stacking. Regular Healing Potions, a Burger or any other food buff, Iron Skin, Regen, Swiftness, Endurance, Summoning, and Inferno Potions. A Witching Table would also be nice to have since at this point Skeletron should be defeated. Then you should use Obsidian Armor, Feral Claws, Obsidian Shield, Band of Regen, Shield of Cthulhu, Blue Horseshoe Balloon, and Lightning Boots, Reforged to Menacing and or Warding. Okay guys, so for the final class summoner, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the fight. So turn off God Mode, turn on your spawn rate, we are on Master Mode. Sp summon your minions, and get the fight started. So, for Queen Bee, she only has a couple of attacks. She shoots stingers, which are easily dodged by dashing back and forth. You may have to jump, and she'll dash at you like this, but you just jump over her, dash in the opposite direction, then dash under her like you kind of just saw in a circular sort of motion. She'll also spawn little bees like that, but the Inferno Potion should make quick work of them. And the Inferno Potion will also burn her when she gets close enough to you as well. Her attack frequency will get faster as the fight, as her health gets lower, but the method for avoiding these attacks will stay the same. There is all four classes, first is Queen Bee, on the Zena Seed, completed. Overall, the fight was actually extremely easy. It was very quick, each one was very quick, with all the classes, none of them specifically struggled too much. It was great. Subscribe if you found the video useful, and or if you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.